Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're good. It's Friday everybody. This is Tina from Tina's Craft Dealers and I have a Hobby Lobby haul, a Dollar Tree haul. And what started out is, can you take me to Michael's? And I walked through Michael's, didn't find anything. I had to go to the UPS, so, and Michael's and UPS are pretty much across the street from each other. So I went through Michael's, came out, didn't buy anything, and Scott and I went and had a perch dinner, and in the dinner I asked him to take me Hobby Lobby, so he did. And I found some Tim Holtz clearance. And it's the only time I really buy Tim Holtz is if it has a clearance tag on it. And I hit the mother load. And there's a story behind it because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I'll tell you it when I get to the one piece. So I came across these tins. It says Trinket, Trinket tins. They're originally $5.99. I got them for $1.49. I thought, oh, them are cute. And I did Christmas ornaments in these. But I went and bought the Altos for the tin. So... I thought nothing else for that price, even if I cover this up when I, at Christmas this year for dollar forty nine. But I think who knows what I'll do with them. They're kind of cool. But got them. Then I came across these inks. I wish they had different, more colors, but they only had the metallic, reflective metallic, and they were originally eleven ninety nine, and I got them for two ninety nine. They only had two. Of the same color, but I grabbed them. To me, when you see a good price on ink when you use a lot for mixed media, you stock up a little bit. Such for that price. Then I thought this was cool. It says label tape, and it, look at that. It looks like typewriter. Let me do it better right there. I thought it was kind of cool. It looked like an old typewriter. They were originally eight dollars down to dollar ninety nine. I grabbed both of them. Then I saw these, and I thought nothing else. If I don't even use boxes and I just use this, it's worth the price I paid. So they were originally $7.99 down to $1.99. They're called match boxes. Got me two of them. Got these little, like, fl flowers. They look like resin pieces. They were $5.99 down to $1.74. Then I thought this. I wish they, these type chips are cool. And I thought they were metal, but they're not. They're actually just a sticker kind of. But I thought they were metal when I first grabbed them. But I thought they were kind of cool. They're like just a chipboard piece. But I liked how they looked. Little, so. They were originally $7.99. I paid $1.99. Cool. Back in there. I don't want them all over. Come on, get back in the packet. Get in there. I'll fix it better. Man, I came across these are cool. These are the factory tags. I like them. Look like that. I got two of them. Man, I wish they had more than one of these too. These are called called vintage flare. They are not buttons, I looked. Oh, by the way, these were originally $8.99 for them. And can you believe that? $7.99 for them? That's just crazy. I see that's nuts to me. It's going to drive me crazy. There we go. That's just crazy in my opinion. But I like these. I wish they had more than one pack, but they only had one Village Flare, originally $5.99, down to $1.49. They're cool. I've seen people use these, so. Then, I've done a couple um, folios of this, and I think I have one left. But for this price, I took them. Originally $13, down to $3.24. And they're the notebooks. And I... I I changed them up where you didn't even know this was underneath, you know. I kind of did my own in them. So I grabbed them. And I laughed. The guy that was in the aisle says, so you're going to leave that one thing hanging of all that stuff? <laughs> so I looked at him like, I don't know what I'll do with it. But I grabbed it anyway. So, so then it was his clearance shelf was empty. And it was these label frames. So I'll figure something to do with them. They were $10.00. $249. And I know I said no more stamps. I didn't need any more stamps. But I found this 
one stamp sent from Wendy Versella. I don't know how you say her name. But it's stamp die and stencil set. And I thought the flower was so pretty. It says a million thanks. Got some foliage, a heart, kindness. Thanks so much for your for your friendship, Miss Butterfly, kindness. But you got the stamps. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten stamps, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, ten stamps in the dies in a stencil. All for three dollars and twenty-four cents. That was a good buy. Originally fifteen bucks. So I took it home with me. And then I found some ink pads by the same woman, this Wendy Rosella. And I got Red Genera, I can't say that, Delineum, Delineum, Sunflower, Dollar. these were $4.99 down to $1.24, by the way. And Watering, which looks like a gray, and Thistle, and Fern Green. And look at it, it's the same flower. <laughs> so that's my Hobby Lobby. Then he went to my Dollar Tree. And I saw these on Sabrina's channel. And uh, it's the only thing they had by this name in that store. Was the Funky Monkey, the three brushes. I actually really like the thin brush. That's what I wanted out of this pack. But I'll use them all. So I grabbed the last. I had two packs of these left. They came home with me. So if they had the other stuff, they're probably gone. Stocked up on some baby wipes, of course. And I usually don't buy them at the Dollar Tree because I, I get a better deal at Walmart, but I'm really going to Walmart. So I just stocked up there. Then, in my usually paint haul, I got me the neon green. I don't know why I grabbed white, but I grabbed white. I got the yellow, deep yellow, orange. Black, of course. Dark green. I needed to stock up because the grandkids used a lot of paint when they were here a couple weeks ago. And then yellow. Plus, I use a lot of the Colbert, Colbert Blue. It's one of my favorites. Dark blue. Pink. Red. I got them. Then, Sabrina hauled this. The tacky glue. This is going to be super thick, tacky glue. This is going to be one of those items. It's going to be a hit or miss. Well, this chicky stocked up in about eight. They had tons of these in my store. Tons. And that is my Dollar Tree haul. Unless you want to see the Kleenex boxes and some food, paper plates, and little cleaning products. But that is my haul, guys. That was my shopping spree today. And I uh, had fun. Got some good deals regardless. Now I have to use it. That's the problem. People buy, they use it. And I will. I have plans for three of those items that I bought today. So, right off the top of my head. So, as always, I want to thank you for watching. And, as always, be happy, be kind, be safe, be funny, be crafty, and bye for now. I may be going live in a little while. I'm not sure. So, I will talk to you later, and thanks for watching, everybody, and have a good Friday.